a, a sort of an anime style animated video. I, I made in Unreal. Uh, I made it sort of quite quickly, edited uh, in about a week. Uh, it was called a Echo Off, but I wanted to move on and I wanted to try something a bit different. And I wanted to have all sorts of stuff. I wanted it to be fully voice acted. I wanted it to be sort of cooler and sexier and um, uh, sort of more sticky and more engaging. So I sort of began the process on this project. So I needed a story. So I chose man falls into a hole and gets out of it. So that's my story. Uh, I went on to the script writing, uh, and the, Fod helped me out with that. And uh, the grammar was pretty poor, but we got some good, good, powerful high testosterone lines of dialogue, uh, which which made for a, it made for a good um, good video. We got the I got the art in for Red, which is the sort of classical archetype anime protagonist. He's he's cool. He's uh, uh, he's a cool guy. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. and so that's the final like clean up red. So it's sort of classic, um, uh, you know, sort of aesthetic uh, anime like '90s, uh, sort of embry uh, embryonic of a style. Very simple line art. We got Blake, who's the who's the e evil corporate fat cat who uh, who wants to uh, exploit the game and is you know he's a bad guy. Uh, started off doing the 3D for this. The 3D was, again, I wanted sort of basic. I wanted silhouettes and outlines. These, this is a camera drone that flies around the arena and adds some visual interest because it's quite a lot of still shots. Uh, I needed a stage. So again, I wanted strong silhouettes, and I wanted very basic, um, very basic uh, looks to all these objects. I got my card decks. It was a collectible card game because you need to sell stuff to kids. Uh, and, it, and this is like, it's supposed to be sort of hyper-commercialized. It's a sort of commentary on anime as well as a sort of reviving it. So, it, uh, so it's sort of based after some, a fag box. And it's, got, it's supposed to be sort of um, street wary and desirable. I also needed a city for like 30 seconds of the animation. So I made some buildings. And there is a, there is a city that I made. I also needed a gutter for like for just a single shot, so it's lots of primitives, lots of pre-built objects. Um, this is the first project I really just used a bunch of default assets, and there's just a bunch of default assets in there, like the default smoke and water effects and that sort of stuff. Um, this is another single shot in the anime, so it's very very quick, and again, it's got a bunch of default assets in. This, this one, again, default assets. This is like the grandfather's home. There's default assets and some stuff I made in the background. So it's all quite simple so far. The arena. The arena is a bit more complicated with some other stage areas with different biomes on. So different. this was supposed to be a big tournament location with lots of little sub games going on in the past, but it's now sort of abandoned. So it had like a a underwater place. It had like a destroyed temple. It had like a tree place and all that sort of stuff. So the environment wasn't just like basic. It had some sort of visual interest to it. The animation, <coughs> they're 3D environments, but they're 2D sprites. And the way I animated the sprites for like lip syncing is I would just swap the sprites out and re-render the scene again. Uh, because nothing was procedural, I could just do that. So even though it was 4K, I was rendering them out uh, slightly faster than real time almost. So I could render out um, the same scene seven or eight times. Uh, and then I would splice them together to get that lip sync. Uh, VR animation, this is a, sh a shot in the anime where I just uh, you know, stuck in some VR hands and threw the cards myself. There's a few more of these shots. Um, I've done some more stuff with this, and it's 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 pretty good, but just for that sort of basic hand movement and a bit of a different feel than keyframing, it's pretty nice to have this sort of shaky um, stuff, and it was very very quick to do. Camera camera stuff, pretty simple. Uh, I put in a shitload of depth of field. It was lovely. Uh, you never lose focus, uh, and you have impossible, very expensive cameras. So that's all fun. So the so I've got some examples from Star Wars. 
here to show sort of soft focus. And if you've noticed something, it's all quite basic at the moment. It's all basic shapes. It's all outlines. It's all silhouettes. There's, there's no real patina or verdigris. Uh, it's all very um, sort of flaccid and flat. And I have the video here, which is it ungrade, well, it's unfiltered or un, untreated. So it's just the basic video. And this is this was quite a hard point to be at because at this point, all the all the this is all uncut as well. It's not like the final project, but it's all very clean. It's all quite uninteresting. It's a bit um, you can sort of see that it's just I you know I've put a fucking circle on the floor and that sort of stuff. You can see all the bits I've cheated at. So I smear sort of smear the Vaseline on the lens, and here I I. I got invisible Robert Hans, who's, who's buffer than Fod and also taller, but I feel like he lacks less um, self-control, so perhaps Fod could beat him on a one-on-one -on -one fight. So I went from the Unreal 4K renders, uh, invisible Robert Hans, put them through his, he burned them to DVDs, he put the DVDs on VHS, and then he gave me two files, one which was data bent, uh, which is like this audio input here, where the channels are slightly messed up, and they were sort of a very glitchy version. And then I had a very sort of quite a standard version as well. And from that, I moved back into uh, whatever it's called, my legal tamed Premiere Pro. Uh, and now it, was all, now it was all gorgeous. And you can see all the, all the colors are popping, and it's all melting. Like Even the still frames look good. All of these have noise, and suddenly all the images uh, it's hard to tell, it's hard to see how much I've bodged it at this point. And if I mute this, you can see the, you can see the, uh, this is the straight VHS rip. So this is no, uh, so this isn't the um, data bent one. This is just the, that's, that's a San Andreas uh, Terry A. Davis mod. But in the actual animation, you can see the, the sort of VHS coming into play and covering stuff up, and compared to the one on the left, it you know it's got an entirely different feel now, and the sort of Vaseline um, smoothing it sort of works. Ooh. Well, I need access, so apparently I've messed that slide up. Uh, so this one is just how I combine them. So now I've got I have my 4K file, which is my direct renderings from Unreal, so it's all 4K, it's all crisp, it's all unschmoozed. Then I put over my v VHS in color, and this was, this was the basic VHS. One of the problems with the VHS is there was a bit of time dilation. I'm not too sure why, but it was getting out of sequence, so it was actually a bit of a nightmare to do this. But um, it created some interesting like ghosting effects. You can't quite sit here, but it's like, Sometimes characters' faces would be projected onto each other, and it would look quite good. Uh, and for areas that I wanted more distortion, I could easily get that. For example, the grandfather scene here, which previously was like you can you previously you'd really be able to see that this is just like a, a block in Unreal, and this is just like a default tree. But now I can now it's got so much noise and so much distortion on it, it's really covered up and looks a lot more atmospheric and sort of believable. Uh, also, it's a comic book now, and this is this is. I'll show a little bit of it. Just get past the Shrek. Valeria, now. Everyone, Chaos Angels, attack and destroy Sprite. Return in night. Attack Beast. You trigger Hidden Scroll. Starved Beast becomes untargetable until it takes or deals damage. Pathetic. You can see it's over. Eternity Knight attack. Yeah, I think that's... This that's card is too powerful. It basically... But yeah. Oh. There we go. That's me done. <laughs> No. Uh, did you say you plugged the audio to 
comment that came from Grace Jeff before Mitch said. Yes, yeah. Well, yeah, the composite cables from the VHS went to the mix, which went to another composite, which went to like the thing that the PC yeah. captured it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. He does like chip tune VHS distortions. Was, was there any more questions? Should I? There's only there's only the finale episode, the final episode. <laughs> Yeah, because that's that's what the other scenes were. The other scenes were flashbacks to like unseen stories. <laughs> and for example, like that city is like that city has like got no no detail on it whatsoever. But I sort of was hoping that the just sheer amount of like noise and distortion and stuff would just cover up that. So it kind of did. Yeah. Yeah, a, a few times because because each time that's doing it is cutting between different um, different takes of the same scene with a different character swapped in. So. Yeah, one scene which is like really bad fight. Uh, yeah, well, I rendered it about six times. Yeah. 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 Let me. Oh.